yeah, say like 1300 or 2200. Lord of destruction, Lord of corruption, Lord of the hate and pain. I instigate a force so great, eviscerate the syndicate. I decimate, eradicate my foes and turn a tonic state. They suffer, they choke on my name. Lord of seduction, Lord of disruption, Lord of the lies. Blah hides inside, he's terrified. Uh. Mass genocide, my master rhymes identify the stale while they listen as I amplify. Strict specify it's time to die. Wow, false victory act two. Let's get act three. Act two was. Mwah! Absolutely flawless. Not a single monster missed. Join my army of the dead. Act 3 is going to be awful if you get a huge tile set. If you guys are enjoying this run, give a shout out to Magester IRL. Thank you so much, Magester. Declone walk in America soon. There's declone walks all the time, everywhere. It's crazy. Schnamps. Uh, yeah, I think Ooh. so, dude. Prime subs don't auto renew. That they do not. Thank you, Dangle It. Now I'll miss 250 monsters. No. <laughs> let's uh, let's get started on it. Shout out, Mage Chair. I know. Yeah. Ooh. Nice and adorned. Hello. Good to see you, Baggett. How's it going? Good. We're about to go rushing Act 3, dominating it. And by rushing, I mean killing every single monster again. I guess we can repair. Man, I still have, like, meh gear. I really thought I would have found way better gear on this run, considering how much we were uh, doing all that stuff. But just no. We are level 23, almost 24. We're not gonna let the Dark Wanderer get us with like seven, six monsters here. Nice try, game. I actually had a dream last night that I missed the Dark Wanderer. It's true as that. I mean, we got it close. This is going to be annoying because there's going to be all sorts of river monsters that we're going to run into. The good news is, mm, well, wait. Lightsabers can spawn, right? In Act 3? Where in Act 3 can sabers spawn? I've missed a uh, total... Oh yeah, here we go. I guess that would be a fun thing to put. Uh, monsters missed. Act 1, 7. Act 2, 0. Put that like right, right over here. What base to make infinity in? For a source? Like the source is holding it or what? I mean I think a thresher is is generally what most people are gonna go for. It usually depends what your mercenary is gonna be holding. If your mercenary is gonna be using fortitude, you can put it into a uh, I really need somebody to check if I need to pop all the baskets or not. Yeah, so day one was a, for act one was a $200 bounty. We, we walked away with 193. Day two, he upped it to a 250, but I couldn't go back. So I couldn't like, you know, do the triple checking. But we crushed it. We had, we had no issues. That was a good day for us. So, day three again. There is a. Uh, 250 and 
course, for every mob missed, we lose that dollar. I really thought I was gonna lose, like, because, you know, not getting to double check is just brutal. Uh, first bow is on? Exclamation mark guides? Um, if you go, I should have a guided playthrough of like an elemental type bow is on, I believe. But I, I would have sworn in the harem I was gonna, I was gonna miss something. I would have guaranteed that almost. I, I felt like I just wasn't, uh... It, there were so many nooks and crannies and like areas you thought you went to. I thought there'd be a whole room and I would have like seven mobs, eight mobs in that room alone. On top of some random ones missed. Oops. Casual summon or golem. Does it matter which one? Uh, yeah, I mean, I like clay golem the most. Fire golem is also sometimes used here and there. Blood golem... I don't think it ever really gets used, and Iron Golem isn't usually worth it because it disappears. Every now and then it, it's buggy still. Uh, I bought the, the, the whole thing, I believe. Yeah, I saw the name of it. Well, let's see. Interior pack. Um, I, I, I bought, I bought this. Complete collection. Llama, oh, what up, Toadette? How you doing? How's hockey? Yeah, the whole thing, I was gonna buy it at $59.99, but the whole thing went on sale. For 19.99, I didn't even realize it, and I was like, "Well, if you're gonna sell it to me at that price, what should I do with it?" I won't complain. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's why I bought that one, because one, it can be used commercially, which is great, but also they allow for adaptation, modification. Anything you want, the only thing you can't do is claim it to be your own, basically, which, or resell it. So, yeah, that'll, that'll be really nice for us, because it gives us at least a good base place to start with, and then if we want to, you know, make some slight modifications on a couple of the things. Attribution list stock? What's an attribution? Oh, like... We want to give credit to, to him for the... Yeah, that's actually a good point. We should just put it in the Excel file. Or on the GitHub, I guess. Alright. Spider Cavern is all clear, I believe. Traps make this too easy. I mean... I still miss seven mobs in Act 1, somehow, even with traps. I didn't use Fire Blast. I used Wake of Fire, went back and triple checked the areas. Hehehe. <laughs> I need to go into every area in this run for sure. <laughs> Evo. Can we sit down and have a talk already? Oh my god. Hmm. Yeah, we, we definitely need to. Are you still camping? Trying to find low is it worth going P7P to MF impact? M MF has no effect whatsoever. Um, low rune, I think P5 is the best place to find it. 
Um, you could also run P7 and then just cube the two ohm runes. You could also get lucky with a low rune, but generally you'll probably find two lows prior. Who gets the $7? It just goes back to Magester. He keeps it. Say, I don't think I need to pop anything here. Or maybe. You'd go everywhere and kill everything? Yeah, this is kind of the the chat, the average chat run. You set, you keep the $7 so you can save up to buy a Mr. Llama SC NFT from the new Llama RPG game store. Oh god, don't say it. Monsters missed on the left side. And if you do kill every single monster in the game without ever repeating, this game does actually work out from an experience point. So that Ooh. is something. Mad Mardigan, thank you. Appreciate that. In-app purchases may apply. No, stop. <laughs> stop it. Lom RPG is going to be a beautiful game. If any monetization ever feels scummy in it, I would instantly remove that. Do I remember my first playthrough? It was either a summon necromancer, <clears throat> where I put like every point into skeleton master or something. I couldn't get out of like act one or two. Um, no, poor Bobby. Darn, I really wish that was unique. That would have been so nice, huh? Arcanas. Or online, I played a barbarian. And he just had two Warhammers, four open socketed with four perfect emeralds. And it played great through normal. I got him up to like level 45. And then uh, Nightmare came and all of a sudden he couldn't do anything. So, you know. Happens. I did not do a Spears on growing up, no. Missed 60 mobs in there. What up, monster? How you doing? How do you know how many monsters you missed? Chat verifies it all. Act 3 is going to be a pain, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you have to check every inch of every map. Like, Act 3 is really big. Act 4 should be a breeze. Chaos Sanctuary, everything dies anyway, so I have zero worries there. The biggest worries of uh, Act 4 will be all the stupid undying corpses, whatever. Act 5 is pretty big, but it is straightforward which might be helpful but I guess the bigger issue is there's all the teleporting imps everywhere so they might teleport out of my view and that would be bad if more than 250 monsters are left does llama pay mage I guess so I'll pay him help him so he can afford the mr. llama nft later Oh no, it does move around in here. Probably just a great marsh though, right? I just want to clear this out then and then, yeah. 
And we have souls. That's not great. That's going to be hard. Yeah, I, I believe players 5 has the most low rune um, patterns. You'll have to double check that. Or someone in chat can double check it for you and help you out. I can't. But player 7 does not have very many low rune patterns. It might have 0 or like 1. Like you're more likely to find a burr rune than a low rune, I believe. So you'll have to go and look. Player 7 has two low patterns? Yeah, I mean, it's really low. I think players 5 might have, like, five low patterns. What about Pindle Skeletons? How will I manage them? I guess I'll have to swap into Corpse Explosion, huh? Which, we'll have to figure out the revive dudes. Maybe revive dudes don't count or something, I don't know. Because there will always be one monster left. <laughs> exactly, Maester. Oh, souls and rivers are going to be a pain. Whoa. I wish I had nature's peace. Q Barnes, thank you very much. And Whoa. Orb Original both dropping that prime time subby grime. Almost rhymed on the channel appreciate that Good thing you don't rap. I got news for you. Hey, Master, how you doing? What is this map? Join my army of the dead. Hey, Mr. Llama, can you explain how the game decides which rune to drop? Once it decides to drop a rune, if that is even how it works. Yeah, Hope so you're having a nice Sunday. Thanks, Blakey. Doll. Rune dropping is actually not too bad. It, it essentially, and this correct me if I'm wrong, but from my understanding, it first selects that it will drop a rune. Like it, that is that is the decision that it makes if it's going to drop a rune or not drop a rune. Once it decides it'll drop a rune, then it essentially goes into the what runes are droppable. Um, that's who I was looking for right there, that dude. And then it rolls from highest rune down, probably. Um, so like, a Zod rune, or, or it'll probably roll the TC, because runes have their own treasure classes. They're like rune treasure classes. And everything but Zod is paired up. Um, and then it will, all right, I need to kill that dude. It should roll like which treasure class it's going to pull from and then roll from the top one below. If 
I'm not mistaken. So. It's, it's essentially very close to that idea. I'd have to look exactly in the files again to see the exact nature, but that's, that's a pretty rough approximation of, of how it rolls. Never did drop a Zod, no. But I think that also explains why like Cham runes drop a little bit more than Zod rune, because Cham is the first roll that's gonna happen in that treasure class. Ooh. Here for my monthly Mr. Llama kiss. Hi, David. Mwah. Thank you so much for your prime sub. Because it'll first roll and say, okay, rune TC 79 or whatever, which has jaw and cham, whatever it is, or TC, I forget, it's like 30. Um, We're doing a requested playthrough for the way I've been playing yeah. the game since it came out. There's a TC rune 17 to uh, to rune one. Rune 17 has Zod rune Zod plus rune 16. Rune 16 has Zod plus rune fifth or er, Cham Jaw and rune 15. Whatever, right? They always have like the lower TC there. No, it does mean you missed every other roll to get down to an L rune. Impossible. Because it would have started at the high roll and then selected like Zod rune or rune uh, TC 16, I believe, right? And Zod rune's like one in 5,000. It doesn't roll down downward, it's weighted. I forget exactly. It appears to roll downward. Okay. Semantics. Exactly, just incredible. Hmm. Okay, it's just one roll then. I know, Alien. time Dumb as a flare I know <laughs> Impossible Speed running full clears I'm good Good, thank you. What about the streamer privilege drop, drop rate? Yeah, so whatever uh, drop rate you have for high runes, anything above like Vex, Vex and up, um, on the streamer servers, they've like halved it or hey, made Mr. it a third. Rainha, I watch you all the time. So you can I've learned lots get them about a lot, D2 a lot more. And just want to say thanks. Can't Aww, wait thanks, for the Slip. next Immortal King drop. 
Appreciate that. Ooh. Elge, thank you. Thank you both. Yeah, and then it, it, it rolls five times and chooses the highest rune of the rolls on the streamer server. So it just makes it a little easier for us so we don't have to, you know, worry about dealing with that all, you know. It's a nice system they've they've put in place. Player's X affects all of the stuff. Monster damage, health, experience, ev everything ramps up with it. Huh, guess everything said there. Also, as a streamer, if you're looking for Ist, you get Sir. I know, it's pretty rough. Like, ugh, I just wanted Istra and I got Sir Vex Sir. But so this is the life, this is the difficult life us streamers have to live. That's a good point, Thanatos. I need to adjust the drops, send a message to them. Okay, Great Marsh. Isn't there supposed to be a dungeon off the Great Marsh? not oh that random soul would have got me there I mean I can rejoin if I if I have to if I like crash or something Ooh, nice. Probably weighs a lot, huh? What are you doing over there? Okay. My mercenary died. I should get another one. Okay, that bird is dead. Where's the stupid water monster? I thought there was one I saw. Guess not. Only zombie pit and flare jungle, huh? Flare jungle is strafer. Probably a pretty fun one. Nice, Crado. The water monsters are the worst. By the waypoint? The waypoint's all the way, like, back here. Wait, where is the waypoint? That waypoint? Oh. I can't carry anymore. You can just move it with arrows.
This is the worst area in the game? I love the flare jungle. Prior to the flare jungle, sure. The flare jungle itself though is amazing. Level 25. Mm, what a delicious blade. I should consult on this. Do, 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 do. Um, I don't think characters expire on D2R. Impossible. Impossible. I'm popping the pots just in case there's sabers or something that are going to come out of them. They'll ever fix the aura. It seems like it'd be a fix they could pot put in, but Whoa, I didn't know that connected around the back like that. I have no clue just incredible. I don't think weight and strength requirements are Correlated. Also, weight doesn't have any purpose in D2, so... It hooks you quickly. Does a good job. If I don't... Top... You mean kill Diablo or Bale? Or Nilthak? I mean, forever. Those are the three things that'll give you experience at 98. So, you don't want to kill anything but those guys at 98. Will Diablo items have weight and items tied to strength? So I'm actually currently in the uh, looking nature thought process of how I want items to, to kind of be determined. I'm guessing attributes are something to, to add in. Attributes work a little different though in Llama RPG because you should be able to continue to train up your attributes. So it's not like you're gonna have a limited amount exactly. But it, you'll have to kind of focus just because it'll take a long time to really train them all up, you know. Oh, lightsaber did appear in that chest. Okay. Because you won't gain, like, stat points when you level. Instead, you'll gain... You can always train your stats to be, like, twice that of your... Um... whatever, right, of your level or something. So if I'm level 200, I can have up to 400 strength, 400 int, 400 dex, 400 agility. But of course, those will be things that take time to train and gold as well. And will get increasingly ever expensive. So... You'll kind of have to... That's my thoughts for how attributes are going to work right now. And then you can finally play D2R. I feel that. Mm. 
Oh, sounds about right. Pete's breath. Now you gotta come to the llama streams. Is there a paragon system? Mm, not a paragon system. I was considering the idea of having a, a, a dungeon like an endless dungeon in a way um, level 10 can only have 20 vitality yeah essentially right it would just be like a single thing where you go and you fight because remember it's turn based so you're fighting one monster at a time so you would go and you would fight the single monster and uh... No, I haven't done anything in BT's mod yet. Perfect. Mm, sure. We'll grab the hell, why not? And the brain. Oops. Uh, it's okay. I'll take this actually over the cold res. Good day. Poison. Okay, uh, let's keep going. Uh, what was I saying? It would flow the game too slow, like how some old series was already had eight had painfully long and slow fights in the late game. The game will be a slower pace. It's it's just going to be a turn turn based RPG. I mean, I want the speed of every battle to kind of be like Pokemon. That's the that's the the pacing that I'm aiming for. So some fights could be, you know, you go and you just do a couple attacks and you kill them and then you move on. Other fights, you know, if it's like a really important fight, you're going to spend, you know, a, f a few minutes on, right? That sounded like a monster. Didn't it? Am I crazy? I can't carry anymore. Hmm. Random games from lobby just go go nuts and grab everything as fast as possible. If you're playing with friends, generally you're going to give stuff to the people who need it, or you're going to roll for it, or you kind of decide at the start. Even a lot of times playing with friends, though, you'll still just kind of, everybody will grab and just kind of screw around. But if then it's like, you know, if I get like a Ariat's face and we have a barb in the group and he's like, oh, I really need that, you know, I'll give it to him. But if like a Jarun drops and he's like, I really need that, I'd be like... Well, so do I. All these noises. I don't like it. Will position matter in fights? No. So it's going to be, uh, like I say, like a turn-based fighting, but not a, like a positional one. More like, again, like a Pokemon battle. Where you're you're picking your what moves you want to use and will there be a hardcore mode? I think so. I'm planning for it to be for a single person and then have like PvP and things later. Pie attack. Yeah, developing game. 
Yeah, picket is... Some people use picket for sure. All these sounds are scary, man. Yeah, I definitely want to build in a hardcore mode. That seems fun. Impossible. The only problem with a hardcore mode is you can in a turn-based game, I guess it just doesn't have as much value because it's like, okay, if I'm in a dungeon and gonna die and no good way out, what, I just like turn the game off and then back on? Something like that? Oh my god, you stupid bird. Will there be skins that can be bought for in-game slash real currency? Yeah, there will definitely be skins at least for like in-game. You can find them. I'm thinking it'll be you find them. So they'll they'll drop off of monsters and things like that. Um, and then you can either trade them, sell them on the market for gold, whatever stuff, uh, blah, blah, blah. Or potentially have those also available as things that you can just buy and then um, you know so you can buy it or you can uh, do it that way right I don't think so crazy Skins dropping from mobs breaks the immersion. Bear to craft them. Eh. Impossible. Maybe the mob drops something that then you use to craft just craft it, right? It's one to one or something. I can't. <laughs> Lol. I like it. Can I explain lose a dollar? Sure, every monster remaining I don't get an extra dollar. Yeah, that mob wears that skin. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, a tiny little rodent dropping a giant spear or something. You're like, doesn't really fit, but whatever. Oh my gosh. These stupid birds flying everywhere. I'm just using the 1200 series, or 12,000 series. Chip, so to the swampy pit. Same game, yeah. Found anything good yet? Surprisingly, no. Very, very bad uh, drop so far. How is this on PS5? Think of getting on console. It plays all right on controller. I, I don't think it's as good on console, but I still think the game is really solid, so. I think you'd still get your money's worth. I know. 
yeah, the gear has been mediocre so far. I expected better. They added lobbies on console recently, which is a big quality of life improvement. Nice class to me. Big help. Oh my god. Swampy Pit be going deep. Ooh. Mr. Mama, I have nothing clever to say. So I'll just say you're awesome. Aw, thank you. Oh my god, I'm so screwed down here. There's so many holes and gaps. <laughs> Gotta love the deep. I mean, you hate him, but... I'm not going back to count him. Chat's going nope. back. Master with the gifted sub. Not gonna lie, I cannot tell you the last time I was down in the swampy pit level three. It's been a minute. <laughs> stuff to light it up over there your whole life is a swampy pit level three I feel it wow look at that map it's crazy moo just the last 27 month. Mwah! Zoppers! Thank you very much. Just hell cows. Or just hell anywhere, Shadow. Just kill everything over and over again. We're definitely you know, leveled very well from from doing it like this. We're already 25 and a half. So. Moo. Haven't popped in for in a while. Came Neon here to drop bug. some love and thank you for making the beginning of ladder so much fun. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you very much. Yeah, seeing it through hell would be interesting just to see how many high runes you get from a single playthrough. If any. I mean, it'll be very RNG, you know. Almost missed those little guys. So dark. It definitely is not coking. <laughs> we would have found that in the files if it was. Moo. Leanne, thank you. Mwah. Llama emojis are back. Let's go. Moo. And Master Overlord with five gifted subs. 
Wow. Probably Act 1, it seems like the most peaceful. Act 2 is too hot. Act 3 is too swampy, too many mosquitoes. Act 4 is literally in hell. I guess Pandemonium Fortress is between hell, but you can't really go outside at all. And Act 5 is too cold. So Act 1, it's like, you know, I could at least go out into the blood more and walk around, go for a walk here and there, enjoy my day. I mean, the blood more is not that dangerous, let's be honest. Stupid birds. For an assassin, no, but for me? Yeah, I don't think it's that dangerous for me either. Like, they don't move that fast, you know? Do I want to see a return of immune monsters in D4? They would never return those. People are too sensitive for immune monsters nowadays. You'd be like, I do light damage and they don't take any damage. This is unfair. The game is dumb. There's no way I could ever think of any other way to do anything. Wow, Scepter, really? We get a Nell Striker here? Alright. Chat's like, that's what I was gonna say. How do I feel about this run if I'm doing it through hell with immunes? Oh, forget that. Immunes are garbage. No, I'm just kidding. Like I say, I, I personally really do enjoy immunes in the game. I, I think people are... Yeah, once again, they like games to be easier. And I think it's really nice sometimes that, you know, Diablo 2 and older games are like, Nah, screw you. These games are hard. We don't really care. <laughs> To me, that's a nice thing. I think you could also do something if you really wanted where uh, you could make immunes, you know, 95% immune or something. So it really is a slog. But technically possible or something like that, you know. Yeah. So, let's see. A lot of people nowadays want their games handed them on a nice platter. Kids these days. You pay five hundred thousand dollars for exactly. Can't I just pay to remove the immunities? <gasps> Maybe that's how the boss should go. Cause, it, cause they're in Dia in Llama RPG. There's a pay to win boss, where the whole thing is that he, you know, all you do is pay money to beat him, and that's it. Nothing else happens. So, my thoughts are either I am you just, his health bar is just a dollar sign, and so you can only defeat him with money, Impossible. or what if there's immunities and you have to pay to remove his immunities, and then you can fight him with your character. Hmm.
I think I like the money. Just straight up, his health bar is a dollar sign. Yeah, he's immune to all damage except monetary damage. He'll definitely be called like the immortal king or something like that. Oh. Immoral king could also work, yeah. Name TBD. I'll try and find a way to code in where you can we can accept money orders and checks as well for it. I will try my hardest to put a lot of effort into these important things for you. His taunt will be, don't you have a phone? What are you, poor? Why can't you defeat me? And then when you when you beat him, obviously from paying money to beat him, he'll have to say something like, Oh, you're so strong and powerful and amazing. Nobody could quite match your strength. Some you know, some like really over exaggerated uh How did you get so much skill so quickly? Now, for a limited time, eight, here's 800% value. Something like that. The shareholders are appeased for now. Just gonna keep going. I can't. Are you considered a shareholder? For sure. Almost definitely. I am overburdened. Oh, exactly, Shadow. I mean, I think the thing is, hardcore grindy gamers just aren't as profitable as new gamer whales, so it's just not worth it to focus on us as much. on, you know, Immortal King. Don't you worry, chat. Just for you guys. Chat comes in after every act, yeah to check it all out. Uh -huh. 
There's a quality control department. Nice combat. There you go, chat if anybody wants in. I'm in multiplayer, so if the game crashes, I can just rejoin. Okay, not too bad. Hey, Jan, how you doing? Or Jan. Why did I choose Assassin? Well, Sorceress I thought would do nicely, but Assassin, I feel, has a really solid clear speed with her traps. And in the event that we took this somehow further, she uh, can handle the further parts as well. A little bit better, I would say. Why didn't they make more axe? I mean, time probably. A lot of a lot of time investment, you know. That's why Act Four was short. Well, I ask. Yeah, I'll ask people to record llama noises exactly. Does the llama say? I don't know, probably just like a something like that or something. Impossible. Secret chat level, exactly. Impossible. Yeah, I think making hybrid builds more viable is also a fun Impossible. way to help with immunities. Again, I think immunities are really an interesting mechanic because they do, they they get you out of the way that every RPG is now where you just go, bah, 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 you know, and spam and everything dies. It's like, oh, now a third of the stuff doesn't die and you have to find ways to deal with those. You can also avoid if you want, but even that is a way to deal, you know, you have to kind of make your decisions. So a lot of times they make you think or run a hybrid or do something like that, whatever, you know. Impossible. I like thinking in games. I think some people don't. Looks like chat agrees. Most people in chat are strongly in favor of immunities. Interesting. Also, Assassin doesn't need keys to open chests, which is nice. Uh, you'll probably need more RAM. Well, you're not streaming, though. You, you, you might be able to play D4 with that. I don't know the system specs yet. i5 might be a little low and RAM might be a little low, but I would say you probably could, could play at least on some sort of settings. Hmm. 
That'll work too, right? Okay, I think this area is cleared. <laughs> Just for you, East. Oh, sewers is gonna be horrible. Not looking forward to sewers at all. back to town. <laughs> I'm going to try and stick to walls as best as I can here. And then we'll go through and clear insides a little bit more later. Donate your D2 or hardcore ladder items. I mean, honestly, I would say just ask around in chat if anybody wants, you know. Probably the easiest way to do it. I don't have any hardcore characters on ladder right now, so. It's a lot of items. Hopefully. Send me a send me a message. Discord is also a great place, yeah. Uh, CPU might have been having issues. System interrupts. What do you mean by system interrupts? I guess. Oh yeah, that's right. Wait, can I not kill this dig in watcher? Trying to throw it on the ground next to it. I'm not sure I killed that guy. We could sell it. I don't think normal people go around I mean, it is an antique. People love classic cars like they that. They were driving it, Toyota. Almost the same color as yours and the older. Yes, yeah, so they probably wanted an updated, newer one. No, I mean, there's a that old. I mean, I'm just. 
just saying. It's usually, uh, you know, it's kind of the, the like muscle car nowadays that everybody's raving yes. about. No. no, no, I think so. No. <sighs> Do a thing meat. with the T2. Thank you so much. They do, Jig. They do. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Um. Hmm. You should have said yes. I think you should park your car. Right. You think you're gonna steal my Toyota? Maybe they're looking for parts. All right. We can park it in the garage. I know, it's really hot. He did great. You should see it. Are we getting Moo Girl a Mustang? Ew, no. Ew, she doesn't like Mustangs. I like my vehicle. Yeah. Not even a Lexus? Poor Llama, I know. Hey man, Lexuses are at like 3,000, 4,000 sub streamers, you know, if you hold that consistent. We're not getting a Lexus. 1,800 subs? No, you drive an old Camry. Not, not sure on today. Oh, they're not checking as you go? What? They're not checking. No, 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 they'll check at the end. <laughs> uh, too llama, too furious, that's right. Means chat will verify afterwards. I know, isn't it the best right there? That's so nice. God, sewers suck. I'm guaranteed gonna be missing monsters in the sewers. And I almost don't even care, it's just so annoying down here. Who's shooting off at us? I think it's up there. Oh, not, not with you. Um, ah, there he is in the middle. Impossible. Is there ever a good reason to do these? Just to have fun? Or if somebody sponsors it? Those are two good reasons I can think of. It's hot, Moo. Didn't do a pool stream for chat. Oh yeah, that's right. I just put chemicals in. I said, uh, don't do it. Well, we can swim tonight. Impossible. Impossible. That's all. I appreciate you. Appreciate Wait. all you do for our family. You're great. Thanks Moo. so much. Is this what you were hoping I would say? No. Oh, okay. No, I'm telling you this. Oh, okay. I appreciate you. Thanks, Moo, for mowing the yard and all that you do. I don't want your second hand. What? Thank you. Second hand? Thank you, Akash. I was just saying thanks for mowing the yard. Well, I was saying thank you Impossible. for doing things Okay. For us. Well, I was also saying that to you. Mad at you now for thanking me. Uh oh, sorry, we're having we're having a fight chat. A thank you fight. Sorry you had to hear that. Got a little heated there. I think we're all cleared through there. I just assume Moo wins the fights and Llama loses. Yeah, that's how it goes. 
That would be an accurate assumption. Something over there? No. Ah, oh, sewers suck so much. They're so long. Alright. I think we're gonna say sewers are cleared and move fo move forward. Be so much easier if the paths were like not complete trash. Okay. I just hope the checkers hate the sewers as much as I do. Oh no, three birds flying off in different directions. Hold up. Alright, stay where I can see you. Yeah, but they can teleport, so that'll be like a thousand times easier. That's one reason I did want to choose Sorceress, was because with teleport you can establish better lines and paths. Whereas without teleport, I have to run around and kind of, you know, be at the will of the whims of the uh, game a little bit. So if it puts big blocks in my face, then... What's the pot? 5k? I wish. Feel free to contribute to the pot. <laughs> I won't stop anybody from matching. Still doing rock climbing? Uh huh. I went bouldering for the first time in a in a long time. Cause I've just been doing top rope mainly. I turned music off so I could hear things better. What are we matching? Two fifty. That is the the act amount, yes. Minus one dollar per mob left. Well it's two fifty of, of today. We're we already had the seven dollars taken off from Act One there. Anything up in here? I can't carry it. It's not. I mean, music is great, but again, we need to hear monsters making noises. There's definitely just going to be water monsters that I miss here, though, as well as these stupid birds that are flying. They're going to get me, aren't they?
Zons don't get hit. Well, I mean, if you're running Jmod, then you can run max block. If you're not running Jmod, then you can't run max block. And then you have this dexterity that's kind of wasting around a little bit. So then you're having to use, like, Storm Shield to run max block. And you kind of got to, you know. So Jmod is a nice combination piece where you get that max block plus the big damage boost. That bird was just about to fly over the river and just be gone forever. What does good treasure class or higher mean? Who said that? The wiki. I don't know what good treasure class. I mean, I'm guessing they're discussing which, like, they're probably saying if it's in a, you know, a treasure class that has good items in it or something. Like, this treasure class drops diadems. But good isn't a technical term by any means. Are you gonna have trouble with getting gear for hell for your... Yeah, I think I have a video. Maybe type like Mr. Lama SC, how to gear your character for hell sorceress, something like that. I wanna say I have a video for that. Some of the TCs are really called like act one good. Oh. Uh, I don't know actually. That is confusing to me. Nah, there's no command for it, but it would be like a video I made. Also, any of my guided playthroughs are helpful. Alright. Should they bring back the cow level in D4? I'm sure they'll do something with cow level in D4. They like to play off in nostalgia. Which is good and bad. For sure. The good the good thing about playing off in nostalgia is that it's fun, right? Like the cow level is, is you know, is a fun little thing and everything like that that, you know, kind of made its way into Diablo and all that, which is fun. The bad thing is, I feel like a lot of times they just use play off that nostalgia as a way purely to try and just lure in everybody to the game. And it's kind of empty, you know, nostalgia. It's like, but see, we have a cow level. And you guys liked that, so everybody should buy this game and play it. So, that's my biggest complaint with that. Yeah, I think a lot of times they try and use that as too much of a, like, thing, but it's like, you know, it's like the... It doesn't even have the same effect or the same feel or the same whatever, and... It doesn't make the game. Whimsy Shire greater than Secret Cow level? You're wrong. There's your proof. I said it. Yeah, it's like I'd rather they do more of a fun surprise. But I mean, the cow level came off of, you know, the fact that people kept claiming there to be a cow level. I can't carry anymore. So they finally were like, fine, we'll just put the stupid thing in. So now it'd be like if they put in an Act 6 or something, you know. Yeah, they gotta have a hidden Act 6 somewhere. I 
And I think we are all clear up through the upper Kuros. We're doing a good job, chat. I can't. Previews of D4 look like an open world game with D3 mechanics. Probably my biggest concern overall. Is that, yeah, it looks, looks a little bit like an open world Diablo 3 with D3 kind of itemization and stuff. And they darken the game, but it's just kind of grayscale darkening and may, maybe some like... You know, I do, I do think it looks a little bit better in terms of color and stuff. I mean, Diablo 3 is a massive color fest. Um, so I do think the look is overall improved. But if is the game just going to be D3 with a gritty gray screen, gray filter on top of it? Biggest concern for me by far. Do the developers know... You know what they need to do to make the game not meh. And you know the game they make might be fun still, but maybe just not a game I enjoy. You know, it's kind of like Lost Ark. I think the game is like, okay. Hey, there's another unique. I don't think it's a great game. And again, it has all the pay to win features in it. Not really a game for me, but a lot of people seem to enjoy it, so. Be as fun as Lama RPG. I mean, I, I'm hoping that Lama RPG will be fun. I have no, unfortunately, you know, no guarantee, no promise that it will. I like to think so. I'm going to try my best to make it a really fun game. But I've never developed a game before, so this might be a good a good show that, hey, developing a game is actually really hard, and, you know, even I, while I can recognize a lot of things that would make a game fun, could still potentially struggle with how to implement it properly, because implementation is a separate piece. I'm totally open to the fact that that is a real possibility. I, yeah, I, I don't think game development is easy. I don't think, um, you know, any of that is easy. I'm going to try my hand at it and try to implement all the things that I really enjoy about games and all of that stuff. I'm going to use Unity. But, you know, if it doesn't work out, hey, it was a fun experience. We got to learn a lot, try a lot. You know. Oh, I'm not modding D2R. I'm making my own game. dungeon would be cool yeah like I say my, my thought on the endless dungeon is is almost more in the way of like an endless monster stream because again it is turn-based combat so it's kind of like you fight a level 100 monster then a level 101 monster then 102 then 103 and you kind of keep working your way down with no ability to heal in between or something until you get to the uh, you know the uh, lowest or the highest level you can that you know defeats you, something like that. Not bad. 
Thanks, Marky Jones. Well, greater rifts aren't exactly like that. Greater rifts are actually a lot different. Because this isn't uh, you go in an, a single endless dungeon until you can't, you know, go any further. Greater rifts are you, like, go until you beat that rift and then you're working on the next rift over and over. Whereas this will be like a, a grind down through and then when you lose you go back out and now you have to grind down again, you know. A lot of people say Greater Rift, but it's uh, quite quite different, actually. And that's not even a feature that's actually in the game. Yeah, that's something I've just like considered. I mean, nothing is actually in the game yet, but something that is, uh, you know, being really like thought about. Look around here. Look for some mobs. Mm -hmm. Is your soul unit so enough to create? You need solid understanding how to design for others. I mean, I'm going to design a game that I think would be fun while trying to consider that the game would also be fun for others. Um, no, I don't think it would be that gothic looking. I'm... The, the best way I can put it is I, yeah, exactly. How can I be the best speedrunner if it's not designed for me? I, uh, I'm designing the game for, for me because I do trust in my sense of understanding of what I think a fun game is for, you know, people that enjoy Diablo 2 and grindier games and harder games and whatever that sort of stuff is. Um... You know, so I'm, I'm treating it a little bit like business or, or like streaming or something, right? It's like when I came in and started streaming, I, I built a stream that I thought was a stream I would enjoy. And I feel that that attracted other people that enjoy streams that I, you know, that I make, right? And it's also not attracting the people that want to watch, you know, all the weird streams or the whatever streams or the different streams, you know, like. So I'm, I'm kind of approaching in the same vein of I'm going to build a game that I would really like. And hopefully it attracts people that think like me when playing games and also enjoy a game like that. And if I don't enjoy the game, then, you know, that'll be unfortunate. And I'll need to probably change it up. But yeah, kind of kind of just trust in my gut on it. I'm not, I'm not building the game for everybody. I feel like a lot of games these days build for everybody and then they don't have any souls in them really, you know? But I, I trust that if I enjoy playing the game, it will be a successful game. Not successful successful, but like, you know, at least successful in my requirements, which is fun to play. It'll be Llama Clicker. Right, it's, it's like Cookie Clicker. <laughs> I don't get visit or any 
Oh, that's awesome, Jigster. I mean, I would honestly... Uh, let me send you a message. Because it'd be good to at least like talk and get some discussion. Yeah. My, I mean, my main thought around this game is this game doesn't need to be wildly successful and profitable or anything like that. I, I, I fully expect this game to not make money. Thanks, King. Um, I, I am going into it with the pure idea of I just want to make a game that's fun to play. And whatever else happens is cool. And it's kind of also like a bucket list thing, you know? Like, I've always mm -hmm. wanted to develop a game. Passion projects, exactly. King Ghidoro, thank you very much for the sub. So, you know, like, it's good to have passion projects, things on bucket list. It's kind of like making the rap, you know? Like, I didn't make the rap because I thought I'd become a great all time rapper and make a lot of money as a rapper. I made my rap because I always wanted to make a rap growing up. So, did my cousins jack up my elbow? No, but look at that, woo. And then my hip is even worse. They sting, man. Happened at my soccer game. Got tackled. Okay, I think we're pretty clear here. Yeah, a little road rash on both sides. What's my thoughts on the Yellow Immortal? I don't think about the game. Those are my thoughts. Did I hurt myself mowing the lawn? No, Moo Girl mows the lawn. We're at level 26. Really didn't get a lot of leveling done here. We, we came in at 23 in an eighth, so we only gained three levels in Act 3. I guess that's not terrible for Act 3, you know. Yeah, it puts us where we need to be. Oh, I love it. Those are beautiful, MT. Better go back to a safer sport like hockey, I know. Checkers, get ready to come check. We are almost done. If you want to check, you can come into the game now. If you're one of the previous checkers. You should have game name and password. Same game and password as last time. I'll do it again? Awesome, thank you. I think sewers, we could definitely have like a little grouping of like five mobs or something. That would be annoying. Try and live it up. Okay. These evil spirits don't count as monsters. Remember, no attacker takes damage gear, no mercenary. I do not know MP. We'll clear them all out anyways, just in case the chat's like, yeah, they do. Zero were missed yesterday, so let's see. That was a quick act three. That was only like an hour, 40 minutes. Um, all right. Awesome. Okay. Checkers in chat. Checkers in chat. Do you want to join in and check to see how many monsters are missing? I 
do have one final place to be. Wait, where are my river monsters? What? There they are. Water watchers are so dumb. At MR Llama SC, hey, I tried playing Fire Druid at Ladder Reset because of the changes. Is Wind Druid still supremely better? Uh, I mean, it's not supremely better, but it's definitely better. While we while we get the checkers in chat, I'm just clearing out Happy my water watchers here. Fire Druid's pretty decent though. I definitely liked him a lot. And a Limus, thank you. I can't hit these guys. If you have a, uh, this is going back. I see nothing wrong. No. Oh my god, they, they don't come out. They're so dumb. Roll three is dumb. Um, okay. Apple pie. You can start searching, and again, if anybody else would like to join in and search around, they're so dumb. I don't even... Perfect. Moo. Thanks, Texas. Three months. No. They won't even pop up now. So awful. There we go. Perfect. I see nothing. Uh, you can pop them. Alright, apple pie will be our checker Hello. for today. And again, if anybody else wants to pop in on the checking. Nice. Just let me know in chat. And I will get you there. There's Daddy Cool. Diablo One is supposed to be turn based. Yeah. And then Blizzard was like, no, don't make this turn based when they essentially, you know, bought them or funded them. You can check. Perfect. I will send you a whisper. There's game name and password. Oh, the butcher's so scary. Let's see how we did today. Um, let's 
Should the water watchers count as missed? What? What's wrong with you, chat? My goodness. No, they don't respond. That's ridiculous. They just hide forever. They're so awful. We'll stay hidden for like 30 minutes. Y'all are, y'all are insane. We'll let Maidster decide. We'll let the sponsor decide if they count. Chat wants them to. Act four tonight, too? If Maidster is up for it. Should the monsters I missed really count as monsters? Well, I went back and cleared them before checkers were checking. I knew they were there. I just wasn't clearing them. <laughs> I, technically, I went back. All right, we can count them as four monsters. In Great Marsh, there is a mob? No! Son of a gun. Move. Oh no, there's, mo there's many mobs! Oh god, stop, 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 I'm gonna go look. Oh no, oh my god, it's on the roundabout. Oh, I'm so screwed. Why did I count those? Let me go look and see how many there are. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it's a shaman. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh. Gosh dang it. You have one too, Apple Pie? Shoot. How did that guy? What? What? So Apple has two, poor Booster has five. Man, rough day in the Great Marsh. I have no clue how those zombies are just chilling right there and alive. One on your TP? I'm getting destroyed. Another Great Marsh? You can't even see him. What? <laughs> Are you kidding? He's all the way here? He is, he's in the woods. Oh, oh my God, out of map. Moo?
Was there a bird there? Okay. Poor Booster has six. Apple, Ooh. two. Daddy has one, and he's all the way in the woods. Kerm, thank you. Vagus, thank you. Shadow Ox, Mwah. no. Apple Pie, I'm getting destroyed. Another in the Great Marsh. Oh my god. So, Apple has three. I knew Act 3 was gonna be tough. Gosh dang it. After such a flawless Act 2 yesterday. Oh, is there another one up here? Oh my god. <gasps> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh my god. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go broke. How did I miss that? No, I'm Roy. Bro, the Great Marsh and Flare Jungle are are destroying me. Waters on you. Whoa. Sup, Llama. How's things been going? I moved to first shift lately and haven't been able to catch much of spring. Oh lately. my god. Things been well? Stupid waters. Thanks, face man. I'm going to be so screwed on waters. I'm in channel shade. Go to game. I mean, how? Oh, the birds were flying. Ugh. This is, this is not good. This is this isn't great, chat. Honestly, I thought maybe we'd have like ten max. Oh, boy. One on you. Stop it. These birds. I'm just, I'm watching the money just flee before my eyes. Moo. Llama, hope this helps. 
Thanks, Pastor. There's still a water snake. Wait, what? What do you mean by two? Oh, I only see one there. Is there a second water snake? Moo. For the birds. Okay, just that one, gotcha. Thanks, senior. Again, how? Donculus. Water on you. They're just, they're calling it everywhere. Oh my god, the water monsters. These, these shouldn't even count. These are so unfair. They don't even appear for like 10 minutes. Just stop the bleeding, please. Mm. Something like that, Ramunda. I won't even be able to afford to kill the long RPG final boss at this rate. I didn't get lazy on Act 3. Act 3 just has so many, like, you know, it's, it, it's not straightforward. It's like you got to keep going around the bridge and back around the bridge and back around the bridge and back around the bridge. There's so many stupid hiding spots. And then you have the birds that fly in the air and fly over the river and over the trees and all that. Then you have the water monsters that take 30 minutes before they decide to spawn. Then you have the souls that are invisible and decide to go off of the map where I can't even kill them. Bats on you, multiple, oh man. One, two, and you have the stupid bats. Oh, Jesus. That hang from the ceiling and you can't see. Did I even try? No. I. I Instead thought I was doing begging, so good. I've given real sub to smaller your pain. <sighs> Thank Smiley you, Ramunda. Face. Thank you, Senior Peace. I appreciate you lessening the pain. Hey, me. Mr. Lim, Thank uh, you. As an all clear streamer, do you ever get tired of missing the same water watchers over and 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 over again? Yeah. Moo. We're at 35 if we don't count the four at Travancore, because I found and cleared those up. You know. Don't you rule three me. Move. Zenzin Zenzik. Thank you for the sub. And Anonymous, thank you for the 300 pennies. Oh. All right. 
We're at 39. Jesus. How did Act 2 have zero monsters left? Probably just because it was clear, like easier to get around. Like I say, Act 3 has flyers, Help souls, oh, and extra cheese, and extra cheese, and extra cheese. So many and little hiding cheese, spots. And extra cheese. And extra cheese. Yeah. And extra cheese. Right, of course. And extra yeah. cheese. And then you get the And extra the cheese. And, then and the extra more, cheese. All right, all right, all right. It's a lot of cheese. Ooh. One dollar was too low for incentivizing. <laughs> Should have done one hundred dollars. I'd be, I'd be actually broke. We really searched it up in Act Three. I'll leave it here. It seems so much higher. 39 seems like like you missed 20% of the act. But we killed so much stuff. We missed one tiny section that had, what, 14 monsters in it? And then just a couple randos here and there. It's so brutal. Like, 39 is just a, a horrible number. Is there a way to see how many I killed? No, but it's thousands and thousands and thousands. All told, the zero yesterday helps balance it because then we've only missed 46 monsters over three acts, which isn't as bad, you know. It's like 16 an act. Not great, but. Yeah, they're not done yet. There could still be a little more. Poor Booster has found 23. Apple Pie has found 10. That definitely puts them in the running for that enigma. I guess Tortured Souls count. I agree, Magister. I think we should do Act 4 now. Once these guys finish up. Happy Lama Slip, Lama flip, Lama broke my hip. Wow. Thank you so much. It's me, bitch. Hope this helps with your A3 blunders. When is the next Immortal King release? Um, I wanted to have something out by end of summer, but now with Lama RPG, I'm kind of focusing there, so I'm not sure exactly. But I do want to... I, I have a third one that I, you know, could be rated halfway there, you know, sort of thing. That'd be nice, Baguette. Ooh, have Moo Girl make a rap for me. She does everything else. Wow. I think Durant's one clear. We're almost, we're almost through it all. 
It was really just the Great Martian Flare Jungle. That was like 90%. Brutal, man. I really thought I got every nook and cranny, but I missed one tiny one. I thought it was a solid clear. Oh god, Stim, no. Thanks, Emroy. I've been betrayed by the flare jungle. Okay. Durrance 3 should be pretty easily cleared here. There. I know. Great Marsh was, was really brutal though, so. Oh, all right, all right. It's okay. It looks like 39 monsters is our act three total. Not good. Ooh. Senior Peace gifted a tier one sub to Isalen. This is their Thanks, first Senior gift sub Peace. in the channel. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Wow, binary. Thank you, checkers. All right, so again, we've got poor booster 23, apple 10, daddy 2. I'm going to I'm going to write that down in my mod chat just for 